Ladies and gentle steppers, welcome to another report of the Season 5 SGL, uh, where we cover the top 25 guilds in the game for the season, and we like to break it down into five different tiers. I just want to give a huge shout out to Yomu, who has provided us this dashboard. Uh, he's provided the Sublimo lot, app hub, he's provided our website now, he is the Idle MMO co-dev, he is the admin for Simple MMO, he is everything that you ever need in life. Uh, so give him a wave. Uh, if you want to support him, he has a Patreon specifically for Simple Ab, uh, Simple MMO App Hub, where you get extra benefits for that. Uh, definitely worth it. Go check it out. I highly recommend. But without further ado, let's hop right in. Let's go ahead and cover the first tier here, which is our Celestial tier. Um, we have the one through five place positions. In first place, we have Rain Factory, led by Sarah, who's an absolute troll, if you've seen my stream on Tuesday. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I heard about it, dude. <laughs> I, I had no idea. <laughs> uh, absolute troll. Uh, then we have <laughs> TSL uh, in second place as a top-tier PvE guild. Then Forrest is moving up one position, and which means Still Friendly 2 and Friendly are taking the fourth and fifth place positions. The friendly family is holding on by a thread. Um, not really, but it's fun to say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I think it's interesting to see that Force is back. Maybe they took a break last season. Uh, I know they're still top tier, but you know what? Now they're really, they're number three, so that's pretty awesome. And they're showing signs even more and more each time, especially in the weekly guild sets where they're, you know, number two to three now. Um, but no one can beat and no one can touch the trolls over at rain factory yeah <laughs> the trolls yeah so rain factory earned 16.5 mil exp uh in the last seven days and if you watched the uh, weekly guild stats video that dropped last night you saw they earned i mean that's what you saw it's, mm -hmm. it, it's insane uh what this guild is putting up in numbers in terms of numbers you know tsl earning 9.5 almost 9.6 for a fake pve guild that's excellent for them uh force up one position with 7.4 earned uh i saw tansy say that's my fault i don't know if she is referring to being a, a mercenary for the force but it is it is nice that you know Babel uh you know has since been removed so there is that vacancy to be filled and maybe that's putting the force in a position not to be fifth place for like the whole season mm -hmm. uh but congrats to them and now the the friendly army which they hate to, to be called uh they are earning very similar exp this go around so friendly earning 4.5 almost 4.6 and then friendly earning 4.9 almost 5 mil so um i wonder what I, this fly like is it like nascar if you're like this is a, a scare reference but like if you're like driving as a team are you buffering like is friendly mm. meant to hold the fifth position so that still friendly two can continue to grow in the fourth or like, are you guys competing with each other as well? I wonder how that works. That's an interesting someone, one, yeah. Someone from Fly, Tansy, Autumn, uh, if you could provide an answer, great. If not, can you get an answer for me? That'd be sick. Okay, <laughs> but that's that's Celestial. Yeah. Bring it on. Yeehaw. Oh, Tansy, Tansy says competing, I guess. All right, well, that's not, I don't really have a lot of faith in that answer with the I guess there, but thank you. All right, next tier is legendary tier, the sixth through tenth place positions. In sixth place, we have Dead Poet Society. Seventh place is Wolf Blood. Eighth, Murderers of the Universe. Nine, Pandemonium, and ten is Shadow Garden. There's absolutely no movement on this tier. It's kind of boring. Everyone needs to wake up and do something. Uh, <laughs> but congrats to T uh, DPS for being a top tier PVE guild and holding on that sixth place position. And mm -hmm. Wolfblood, go ahead and drop Pison because I know he's sandbagging you. Because I what? know you guys could get to Celestial. But uh, yeah, what do you think? That's so rough. I love Wolfblood, dude. A woof! <laughs> Alright, so DPS uh, basically, you know, uh, Coven, Coven crawled so DPS could run. Mm -hmm. And look at them now. They're not wasting their opportunity with absorbing some of the old Coven members and also just being a very strong pve guild um with recruitment and holding on to their core membership if you i'm still a member of that discord and they're wild in there but they earned almost six mil exp this go around 
Wolfblood earned 4 mil. Murders of the Universe earned 4.7. Pandemonium, which is a rebrand, an another rebrand. <laughs> This, it's like, what's next? Uh, earned 3.6, almost 7 mil. And then Shadow Garden. Little Baby Shadow Garden earning 2.7. Um, so they're definitely in a fragile position right now. Mm -hmm. But as she still, dude, to even get top 10 the way they did in such a short amount of time, uh, I'll take it. You know, if I was SG, I'd, I'd take that all day. So, but yeah, woof, woof. Let's go, Wolf Blood, brother. Uh, and looking to chat real quick. Autumn says, still is more PvP and friendly, just doing what we can. We expect still to be higher than friendly. Well, I mean, EXP is saying something different, so you gotta be careful there then, I guess. Um, yeah. Uh, Darren called me dead weight, dude. F, F you, Darren. <laughs> uh, uh, Mr. Joxy, welcome to the stream. Glad you could catch this one. Yeah, nice. All right, let's yeah. move on to the next tier. We have the epic tier. And that's our 11th through 15th place positions. We have Prosser holding on to 11th. The Knights who say Yi in, in 12th. Asgard in 13. Resolve in 14. Italia moving up two positions in that 15th place. Uh, awesome job. I it, it, If you check out the WGS again, the Knights who say Yi are showing a lot of progress. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't show in the SGL right now. Who knows if it will next week. Uh, but it is very interesting to see them being resurrected. I don't know if Wobbly Cat is back with a vengeance or what. Um, but that's pretty interesting, and then Italia is that's definitely That's usually what it means. Moves. That's usually yeah. what it means. It's like, yeah. Wobbly is like, I'm back! <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to murder. I know. <laughs> yeah. Because it ain't Yurg. It's not Yurg doing the murdering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so Prosser earned three, almost 3.6 mil here. The Knight's earning 4 mil. Uh, Asgard with 1.9. You know, shout out to Jason. Uh, doing mm. good with Asgard. I mean, this is... A lot of people's favorites tier two, uh, thanks to me. Uh, so yeah, if uh, Asgard ever gets more famous than they are now, um, I take full credit for scouting them. Resolve with 2.1, another new guild on the block, doing extremely well here in Epic tier. And Italia, earn earning two positions for or moving two positions forward and earning 2.3 mil EXP. Grass to them. Uh, I will say though, not everyone in there is Italian. I literally thought that was a requirement. I thought this would be true to form. Uh, they're fakers. I, I I talked to someone in Global and they're like, dude, I'm from New Jersey. I'm not Italian. And I'm like, what the fuck? Close so, enough, yeah. right? Yeah, close enough, but y'all fakers, dude. Uh, but congrats to Italia, another newer guild on the block. Uh, everyone's using the Blazing Beast icon because it looks so mm, sick. It is a good icon. It really uh, is. We we should use it, dude. Yeah, yeah, I know. Let's just everyone start using it, guys. Let's just all take it. Uh... We could all be blazing beasts. Yeah. Um, Solo, welcome to the stream. They're at the beach, apparently. You got your shirt off, brother? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> all right. You got your shirt off? This is the couch cat, dude. <laughs> We're moving Don't on. clip that, chat. We're is Fluffy on. here? Don't clip that shit. We're Don't do it. We're moving on. Uh, We're moving on. Elite tier. <laughs> elite tier. <laughs> Uh, 16 through 20 place positions. We have some arrows. What do you know? Um, 16th place is Golden Arrows. 17th place, moving up two positions, is Heaven and Hell. So showing up so strong with their rusty sword there. Uh, Zelf, the Zenith Kitties, moving down three positions is sad to see. Same with Wolf, mm -hmm. moving down one. And then TPC, holding on strong to the 20th place position. Um, yeah, uh, it's kind of sad to see that Zel Zenith Kitties has moved down three positions, but uh, good on Heaven and Hell, an old school guild coming back from the, the grave. Yeah, uh, good on Dark. Good on Dark for yeah. just yeah. I'm I'm not taking this as seriously as I once was. Literally burning out as we speak. <laughs> Absolutely crushing in the PvP side of the house. Ridiculous. Yeah. Dark is insane. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I, okay, so this makes me sad because mm -hmm. uh, we're friends of Ace, mm -hmm. we're friends of uh, Ajid, mm -hmm. but like, I forget Golden Arrows exists. I literally forget they're a guild because I don't see, I don't see them in global. I don't see them in, in our streams. Mm -hmm. And they kind of just like, they get to a position and eventually they decay, uh, as in they get pushed down. So I'm really worried for them. But they are, they just, they earn 2.2 million XP. So someone's there, the lights are on. 
Heaven and Hell earning 2.3 mil with the two position forward. ZCK earning 1.3, Wolf earning 1.3 roughly. Uh, but TPC with 1.5. So if TPC, if they maintain what they're doing, uh, maybe 19 and 18 are not that far off yeah. for them. So congrats to you guys at TPC. You guys are a bunch of freaking weirdos, uh, but we love you here. Um, and I, hard to say about Wolf, hard to say about ZZK. Um, up in the air about them, but yeah, Golden Arrows. I think Heaven Hell is going to take them. I think yeah. I think it with with the trajectory of how they're moving and grooving, and how much blood Dark is willing to spill. I think H and H will overtake Golden Arrows long before we know it. So, yeah, I do I do find it interesting because we don't see it often that like a ZZK guild or something like that that drops three positions is still putting over one mil in guild EXP. Like that's not an often thing that you see, but it's still impressive. Like one point three mil is actually a lot of work to do, especially for. <clears throat> excuse me a pve guild uh but it's still not enough so it shows that the competition is fierce uh because they're getting knocked down three positions right they're in a new tier a lower tier because of that um yeah. but yeah it's still impressive to hit that 1.3 mil all yeah. right uh corvoid was saying zzk are pretty all over the place honestly they seem to to kind of have the occasional burst of activity yeah uh well, gets them pretty far yeah yeah but you're, you're still in the top 20 for yeah. whatever you're doing yeah <laughs> whatever's <laughs> going on over there yeah. dude <laughs> all right rare tier with our last tier trash tiers we love to call it uh 21 through 25 and 21 we have newbies 22 is murder of crows 23 alpha and omega moving up in position they are showing life every week and then colt moving down one position step and chill holding on holding mm -hmm. on <laughs> uh at 25 but yeah and i'll tell you this because i saw in chat you should refresh um you don't refresh hold on let me scout it out uh snc is no longer there rip and silver wolf has overtaken rip Aroni. let's check it out yeah it's not showing earned exp bloodlust but uh, yeah, there they are. So Silver Wolf's newest guild, Bloodlust. Um, very edgy. Don't know how far they'll go. But he's using, or he's got help from great people. He's got Tansy and Theron in the pocket. Mm. Uh, so yeah. But anyway, newbies earning 1.3 mil. Murder of the Crows earning 1 mil. Dude, er, Murder of the Crows is looking stronger yeah. uh, than they were, you know, a month ago. So yeah. we were like... Where 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 are they? Because they were here and now they're not. And then the leader was always in our Discord, like, I'm gonna get up there, and then they wouldn't, or they would and they would fall. But look at them at 22, earning you know one mil, which is great for trash tier. Alpha Omega, another tier two guild moving up, one whole position earning almost 800k exp, and then the Colt falling uh, under Alpha and Omega earning 576k exp, um, and Gakuto again is. You know he's there he's yeah. manning the ship um i don't i don't really know the reason behind the revival uh i don't i don't even know really what fred status is but i don't understand gakuto i know gakuto was saying we saw this that fred was their first ever guild leader but i don't yeah. understand leaving rain factory for the cult uh Shits maybe he's just giving giggles. it a shot i don't know yeah, yeah or shits and giggles but I would I would not make that that's not a fair trade. <laughs> so yeah. um, I will I, I will say Alpha and Omega reminds me of Pokemon versions. Like every time I hear that I'm like, oh, a new yeah. Pokemon version. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. I think I think about that too. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's go into the tier two system, shall we? Alright, dude. Tier two, uh our one of our favorite segments here. Um and I'll start off. So Crazy Fi, you have Tobal Shun, so um, or no, you have earned. You have earned. Yeah, you have total. earned. All right, so for total here, you'll see SNC just getting knocked down to 26. You got Blackwater at 27. Dude, look at the. It's just like everyone got shifted. Yeah. Uh, Gorilla Wizards, Afterglow remaining strong. Cult of Eternal Ice losing two positions. First Gen Black Dragon holding strong. House of Bamboozle getting knocked down. Helheim, Helheim, yeah. Uh, reminds me of Val Valheim. Yeah, yep. that's a new guild. That's a new guild on the 
on the uh, docket here uh, with 1.4 mil moving four positions up. That's that's a strong um, stance there. Drifters falling almost out of tier two completely. I don't know what crazy five. I don't know what happened. They were literally in the top 25, and now they're like they're dead again. It's almost yeah. like they got together for one last burst, and they're done. Yeah. And, and then uh, Volapinia, um, that's Blazing Beast rebranded. Uh, I don't know why. I like Blazing Beast better. Um, and it obviously shows because they went down two positions. So uh, <laughs> I don't know, Vex. That was a poor choice on your part. But the earned EXP down here, SNC only earning under 500k EXP, 480k to be exact. Blackwater earning even less at 469k. Brother Wizards even less at 353k. Afterglow earning half a mil, uh, which is the second highest earned in this tier. Cult of Eternal earning 384k. Uh, Black Dragon earning 442k. And Boozle 166k. Helheim though, 727k, the highest in the tier, uh, in the tier two system. Drifters only earning 75,000 EXP. They're definitely dead. This is a, this is unfortunate. Oh, yeah. And then Blazing Beasts earning just shy, you know, just just under 300k. Yeah. So, a lot of shift downwards, but uh, things. I mean, if Helheim is new on the scene and they're active, we might get more of that. So. So it's it's uh it's bloody down here. Yeah, all the uh, red arrows are thanks to bloodlust. Climbing yeah, up. Yeah, thanks, thanks Silver Wolf for skewing the data. <laughs> Give us more. But congrats. <laughs> more. Yeah. I'm interested to see how sustainable it will be for Silver Wolf. Mm. Um, once once the mercenaries go away. Uh, says you're welcome. Yeah, I just I wonder who's going to join you, who's going to stick with you. That's I. That's the hardest part. I, I feel like that's the hardest part to, uh, you know, these newer guilds. So. Yeah. 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 All right, Crazy Five, lead us to the outro. That will conclude the report for the latest SGL. We appreciate y'all coming around and watching. Thank you to everyone on stream who has watched us. Uh, if this, if you're watching this in a vod, thank you, uh, just as much. Uh, we really appreciate. It. But that will end the segment for the SGL. We really appreciate. It. We look forward to next week and seeing what type of mo movement will occur. Yep. All right. Thank you, Vaz Squad.